fans are at the heart of everything we do at Viacom, right? And, and what makes a fan? These are people who are passionate about our brands, about our programs, about the talent at Viacom, and that gets expressed in a lot of ways. It gets expressed, you know, first level through their engagement with our content, but in lots of fun ways, in the sort of communities that spring up, uh, both online and in real life. Um, you look at what fans do and what their passion means and sort of how that translates into um, everything from the projects they build online to the products they design. And so, you know, as a big media company, I think Viacom is very much in service of fans, right? And I think it's been a real point of emphasis for us um, and is a point of emphasis going into this upfront is how do we think about fandom? How do we think about the relationship we have with our fans, our brands? How does that all go together? And then, you know, thinking about from a marketing perspective and what we're bringing to, to an advertiser, to an agency, how does that translate into a unique advertising opportunity with Viacom? So, so tell us a little bit about that. How yeah. does it translate? How do you present it? Yeah, no, it is, um, there's a lot to it. So there is, first of all, an acknowledgement of um, the respect and the sort of service we need to do to those fans is sort of central to everything. But beyond that, what we've tried to do is take some data and apply it and understand a little more deeply what makes a fan. Um, and, you know, to, to make that real for the marketer. So, you know, this is everything from how do we think about ad engagement on television? Um, and so we look about, look at things like second by second data, we look at differences in context, differences in audience, how that impacts the way people are engaging with, you know, quite simply a linear TV ad. But to the other end of the spectrum, we also think about how fans engage with specific brands. When we think about things like integrated marketing, right, where, you know, we're partnering with a marketer to bring an experience that combines their brand and our fans, it is so important to us to get that right and to make it appropriate and to make it resonate and it works better for the, the marketer that way as well and we're putting data against that as well so this isn't you know gut decisions about oh we think this branded integration would be a great fit um, for this show or this star no no no. we're doing research on it and we're looking very closely at affinity maps we're looking closely at the audience models that we might use to do targeting in other places to try to figure out what is really the appropriate place to find those fans, engage with them, and, and how does that map to a brand? And that's central to everything we're doing. Cool. And of course, we're right in the middle, beginning of the uh, TV upfront. Um, how much does audience targeting and the open AP uh, proposition, and we hear a lot about audience buying, um, how do you see that as part of the conversation for this upfront? Not necessarily for Viacom, but yeah. just generally. I think what you see, especially with open AP, is that audience and data-driven buying on linear is, this is not a beta, this is not a pilot anymore. I, I think this is the year that, um, you know, OpenAP sort of codifies that for the industry, but we're not at a place where, oh, we, we can maybe run a, a beta or a small test for you. No, we've done this a lot, a lot of times. You know, we are in full-scale product mode. We have a huge team working on this. And I think you're seeing that at other television publishers as well. So I think what that translates to in the upfront is that data is going to be a part of every conversation, probably with every broadcast group. Now, I think the applications of data, you know, to date, the application of data has been, okay, we know we can measure our audience in an interesting way. Um, let's target them. I think what you're going to see this year and, and moving forward is, well, yeah, we know who our audience is, but there's more we can do with that than just build me a, or find a higher concentration of the audience, right? There's other marketing objectives and goals, whether everything from the integrated marketing elements to, hey, let's think about reach and how we're using data to manage reach against the target. Let's think about how we're managing frequency. These sort of traditional things that really work on TV how does data bring that to life and go beyond a sort of single KPI pathway of we've got a target, we're gonna find more of the target audience.